give God some praise for this sister. If you have a testimony, make sure you testify. God has healed you, God has saved you. This is our testimony night. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Why we have testimony and communion service night? Amen, somebody. Because we overcome the devil by what? The blood of the Lamb. And by your words of our testimony. Yeah. We are believing and trusting in the report of our God. Amen. Yeah. Go ahead, sister. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. First of all, I want to give God all the honor and the glory and the praise for bringing me into this ministry and I also want to thank God for my bad situation. It drew me closer to him. 2017, I was convicted for a crime that I did not commit. Amen. And I had that matter going on for like two years and some months. I keep crying out to God. I asked God, because I didn't understand it. The reason being I didn't understand it, I was in the flesh. And when you're in the flesh, you can't understand spiritual things. And I keep crying, crying out to God. I say, God, why me? I always love everybody. I always give my last to see a brother or a sister happy. And I keep coming to church, coming to church. I came hungry and thirsty for God. That, you know, every time I see Minister Leo, I keep telling him, put on my name to get baptized. I want to get baptized. I want to get baptized. I come, I get baptized. I give my life. I surrender. I give my life to Jesus. This year, when we had prayer, our deeper life, prayer and fasting in January, the first of February, I get a word, you know, through our prophet, that God will deliver me from my situation. And last week, the 31st of July, God has set me free from the hands of the enemy. Come on, come on. There is no turning back into this world because I really and truly love God and I want to grow in Him and go deeper. And my word of encouragement to each and every one here, God can take any one of all your mess and make it into a message. Keep looking on to Jesus because he's the author and the finisher of our faith and he does not give us much than we can bear. I am a living testimony. Hallelujah. So the matter in the court was dropped on the 31st, 31st of, July. of July. It was dismissed. It was dismissed. Come on somebody, give it to Jesus. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Now, that offense caused to, to amen that she was Amen. Blame for innocently cause her to lose her job. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. So even through the situation, God is making a greater way for her. Amen, somebody. Amen. And sometimes we can't understand God, but you see when you put God first, amen. Satan will come and try and test you. Come on, somebody. Come on and prove your faith. And when your faith is finished, and it's pure and God ready to move for you. There is nothing that can stop you. Amen. But you see, when you don't put God first, you are in the open, anything can happen to you. And listen to me, when, when believers do this, they do not put God first, and then they want to remind God of His promises. You have no authority to remind God of His promises if you cannot keep yours. When you, when you say, Lord Jesus, I give my heart and my life to you, it means your life is no longer yours. <laughs> That's why Paul wrote, he said, I am a prisoner of, of the Lord Jesus. I belong to Jesus. And the life that I am living is by the faith of the Son of God. So I am always depending on a word. I'm always depending on a directive. I'm always depending on God, not my strength. The Bible said that promotion coming not from the east, not from the west, not from the north, not from the south, but it coming from God, which made the heavens and the earth. Come on, somebody. The Bible said God has promised to make us the head and not the tail. The scripture said, It is I, the Lord, thy God, that give it the power to have wealth. But in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, he said, If you follow all of my commandments and you do all that I say to you, I will bless bless you in the valley. I will bless you in the city. I will bless you in the mountains. I will bless you in the seas. Wherever you are. But the Bible said because of face tribulation first. Come on somebody. And, that, and that's what we do as believers. I'm, I'm telling you facts. We, take, we, we put God third, fourth, fifth, last. And then we come to claim. Our, our promise is God just say anything I put my hand to do. Lord, you're in the first class. Come on, somebody. Amen. Where was God when you were putting your hand to do it? Amen. Did you acknowledge God? Amen. Did you seek God? Were you in the will of God? 
Come on.